I had a question that I needed to ask you. Oh, I'm sure. Shoot. Who's funnier? I don't think that's a question. I just wanted to ask this you is this. A, this is not how it was supposed to go, right? <laughs> New York After Dark uh -huh. is coming to Peacock. What a name. Thursday, live. What can audiences expect? They can expect live comedy. It'll be like uh, what you'd expect at any show in New York City, After Dark, with really funny people being funny having a good ass time. And we've got a little secret. Actually, it's a pretty big secret. Well, now you gotta give the people something. <laughs> no, I'm not saying a word. Oh, then people won't know to tune in. Come on, tell them a little. Like how we're hosting a live comedy event streaming only on Peacock September 12th. Exactly. Or how it's called New York After Dark, and it's a comedy show that only features drop-in comics. Boom, you nailing it, dude. Michael Chase phone numbers. Whoa, 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 hey, hey, hey. I, for one, am excited. I'm excited, too. I have a question for you. No. Oh. What inspired us to host Peacock's first ever live special. God, I don't know. In a way, I guess, sort of the classic vaudevillian tradition of, you know, uh, vaudeville and when people would the look back. The vaudevillian tradition of vaudeville. Yeah, when people would look back and they would say, now that's vaudeville, and trying to capture that, but for a modern audience, I would say. Wow. But I don't know. I guess I'm just sort of a history a buff. good answer. <laughs> Thank yeah, you. You killed it. You know, this is live. The special's live. So. Yeah. Anything can happen. So I'm curious, how racy and shocking do you think we're gonna get? I don't think it's gonna be too racist. I think it'll <laughs> no, no. be. Did I misunderstand your question? No, no, no. no. Actually, go ahead. I don't I'm think curious. That was my follow-up. I don't think it'll be that racist at all. Actually, okay. I mean. Okay. Well, counterpoint. In fact, um, I'll be shocked if it is as racist as you want it to be. And I have a question for you. Oh, okay. Are you nervous? Am I nervous? Um, I don't know. I'm. <laughs> no, I mean, <laughs> what? So good. That was such a good answer. <laughs> Thanks. I've been doing more acting. What was your first impression of me? My first impression of you was, hey, I'm Carla Jones. <laughs> and then they was like, that's imp that impression's me. I have. Do you have any? <laughs> do you have any pregame live? Show rituals. Like, am I gonna pregame this one? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, get let's hammered, bro. Yeah. Let's do it. We can because it's live. We, they we can't can stop me they from can't. being. They can't stop us. They can't stop us from being hammered. That's what we should have called the show. They can't stop <laughs> us. Try and stop us. I had a question that I needed to ask you. Oh, I'm sure. Shoot. Who's funnier? I don't think that's a question. <laughs> I have a question I'd like to ask you. Uh -huh. We'll have co-anchored Weekend Update together for 10 years. Good evening. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jost, and here are tonight's top stories. How should we celebrate our anniversary? That's a, what a great question. It is a good question, I actually. Just, I didn't think I considered that. What is the 10th year uh, update anniversary? Diamonds? Diamonds. Isn't it you give diamonds and I give... <laughs> Wood. I, I think I do wood or paper. <laughs> no, man. I think I give paper and you give diamonds. No. Is it? Oh, it's your turn. I'm sorry. I'm yeah, I have swing. questions too, Michael. Oh, my bad. For example, who picks up the check if we go out to dinner? Ooh. That's a good question. I think. I know the answer. Yeah. No. I think, I don't know. I think have it's we ever mostly, gone to dinner? I feel like we do a double, a Dutch kind of. I don't thing think we've we, ever gone to dinner. No, 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 not, not together. That's I've crazy. I've seen you at a restaurant and waved, but remember? I saw you. Oh, okay. Is it true that everyone loves our annual joke swap? Oh, people are going to think we actually wrote these. <laughs> <laughs> we have a tradition where Che and I give us each other jokes to read. Yeah, we're making each other read jokes live on air that the other person has never seen before. That's right. And the end. Let's not applaud. Let's not applaud yet. The idea, the idea is, of course, to give each other fun jokes, uh, almost supportive jokes that would never ruin our summer or our career. Yeah, but b before we start, last time we did this, I hired an actress to pretend to be a civil rights hero. <laughs> And that was low, so to make it up to you this time, I invited an actual practicing rabbi. <laughs> Please welcome Rabbi Jill. Yeah. Yeah. Go, go ahead, Colin, why don't, oh. you, why don't you tell the first joke? Oh. 
<laughs> is it true that everyone loves our annual joke swap except for Scarlett? She said she browned out and called it terrifying. Does she try to talk you out of it? Chat GPT has released a new voice assistant feature inspired by Scarlett Johansson's AI character in her, which I've never bothered to watch because without that body, what's the point of listening? <laughs> Is it real? Like he has yeah. no idea what he's about to no, do. That, and that's like a tame version. If you guys have yeah. ever seen it's a joke It's daytime. Swap. We kept it tame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Because like <laughs> we need like witness, go under like witness protection after that night. Yeah. Like I am absolutely terrified. Yeah. We're, we're going to be like targeted. It's so bad. I black out for that period of the night. I don't, I actually don't remember it. I was just, as soon as the picture came up, I was like, ah! Browned out? Is it that... says blacked out. I thought browned out was oh, yeah, funny. That's, I mean, it she, sounds somehow way worse. <laughs> <laughs> she blacked out and brown. Isn't that what browning out is when you poop yourself? You, go, you black out. Is it out true ever. that Scarlett Johansson <laughs> pooped herself when she went? Wow, that's crazy. Not even from laughter, just from horror. Oh. But to answer your question, yes, that's true. I can confirm it. Really? Yeah. Why? What does she think is going to happen? That people are going to really know the truth about you? Um, from SNL to comedy specials, what would you say the highlight of working with me is? Right when it's over. It's a warm feeling. <laughs> uh, I was going to say just any time I got to spend time with you. Oh. You were going to say that? Yeah. You could change your answer if you wanted because they could mm, edit it. I'm good. They could, they could, they could I got a question it. for you. How would you describe our friendship in one word? Big. <laughs> Harvard, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Big. I just wanted to ask this you is this. A, this is not how it was supposed to go, right? But go I don't ahead. Know. I, my final question for you is, did you... What, I got like six more. Oh, okay. I was kind of skipping around. Okay. Did you worry about me in Tahiti? How would you critique my Olympic coverage in the midst of my coral-related injuries? I saw none of it. Uh-huh. Um, I knew nothing about it. People were messaging me, asking me if your foot was okay. Right. I ignore the messages. Mm -hmm. I think I text you one time, like, hey, what happened to your foot? Mm -hmm. But I don't think I hit sin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't care. And uh, so, I mean, I could, yeah, I could send you uh, stuff or whatever, like links and stuff. Where do we, where, where do you see yourself in five years? Where do, where, do you, where, do you, where do we go from here? Where do I see myself in five years? Yeah. Ooh. I don't know, maybe outside in the trench coat after a show with the fans, trying to get the cast to remember me and take me on tour with them. And if I can provide for my five-year-old child, I don't know. So you're planning to have a child like now? Like not right even. now. I feel like we're going to really, we're going to bottom out after Thursday, man. Yeah. Let's just get crazy. <laughs> No, five years from now, I, I, I've seen... You think I it's going to get so bad that you have a child out of it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get hammered and have kids. No, I think uh, I think five years from now, I could probably see myself um, retired. <laughs> Done. Yeah. Me too. I was going to answer retired for you as well. Done. Finish. Out the business. Yeah. Farming. Playing chess. I'll, I'll set up a chess board for you.